How you doing? This is Reggie Lancey with Body Defining LLC, a health, wellness, and fitness company where we specialize in personal training, massage therapy, and sports-specific coaching. Today we'll be talking about how to bench your max. So now, all guys around the world always want to know, what's your max on the bench? What's your max on the bench? You know, so there's a way to calculate your one rep max. Now there's two different methods that you can use. If you're more experienced lifter, what you can do is you can just determine your one rep max by increasing the amount of weight after you do a warm up set and figuring out which weight you can only do for one repetition with perfect form. Now if you're a novice, you don't want to injure yourself by going too heavy for your own means. So what you want to do is you want to find out what your 10 rep max is. So you find a weight that you can only do a max repetitions of 10 and then what you would do is you would divide that weight by 0.75 and that's how you can figure out your one rep max on the bench press. So now if you're more experienced what you want to do is even as a novice you always want to make sure that you warm up. You choose a weight that you can do for anywhere from 5 to 10 repetitions just to get your muscles ready in order to bench. So what we have here is we have on the bench, you know, 135, I'm going to warm up, I'm going to do 10 repetitions. So you would lay down on the bench, get yourself positioned, find your hand placement that's comfortable for you. You want to make sure that you grip the bar. You want to push off and then you want to bring it down and up in a smooth controlled motion to warm your chest up all right that was five repetitions after you've warmed up what you want to do is you want to choose a weight that you already know that you can only do anywhere from two to five repetitions once you choose that weight then you do it. If you can do it, you know, more than one repetition, smooth, controlled motion, then you would want to increase that weight by two to, by five to 10%. Once you increase that weight, you would rest for anywhere from two to five minutes, and then you would try again. If you can get over one repetition, then you would do the same thing. You would increase the weight by five to 10%. You would rest for about two to five minutes, make sure that you're giving your muscles enough time to recover, and then you would try again. And you would do this method until you come to a weight that you can only do one rep max. So with that, it could take you up to 45 minutes depending on how much rest time you need in between each attempt to figure out what your one rep max. This is Reggie Lamptey with Body Defining LLC, a health, wellness, and fitness company where we specialize in personal training, massage therapy, and sports-specific coaching. You can find us on the web at www.bodydefining.com.